Welcome everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to control your AI bot teammates. I'll first show you where to get the add-on, how to use it, and some tips about using bots. Before we start off to manage your teammates easier, we will be using an add-on called PartyBot Command Panel, or PCP for short. You can find the PCP add-on on the SoloCraft homepage. Extract the add-on to your Interface Add-ons folder. Log in, and then at the Character Selection screen, go to your add-ons, and make sure Load Out of Date Add-ons is enabled, and check the box to enable the PCP add-on. Upon logging in, you should see a minimap button of a person with a blue plus. Click the button, or you can bring up the add-on by typing forward slash PCP. You can also do the same actions that the PCP buttons do by typing in dot party bot commands or by creating macros to use these commands. You can find the list of commands and more detailed information by going to the commands page at SoloCraft's website. Starting from level one, you're able to summon up to four additional teammates into your party. A party usually consists of five people, including yourself. One healer, one tank, and three damage dealing classes Though your party and raid groups can be composed of however many tanks, healers, and damage dealing DPS classes you want. You will find as you level, different party compositions are better for different things. If you have both Alliance and Horde characters on separate accounts, you can multi-box and create a group with your opposing faction characters. Now I'll go over how to use each command separately, how they can be used together, and some additional tips. At the top, you'll see the words Warrior, Tank, and Add Party Bot. If you press Add Party Bot, an AI bot player will be added and a party will be automatically created. You'll see a plus and minus symbol to the left and right of the words Warrior and Tank. By clicking those buttons, we're able to select different classes as well as their roles. The next section in the add-on is Add Party Bot by Role. Here you can select a random class with a specific role by clicking Tank, Healer, or DPS. The button next to DPS is Remove. This allows you to remove a party member by selecting them and then clicking the button. You can also create a macro, forward slash kick, to make removing individual party members easier. You can disband your entire group easier by right-clicking your character and selecting Leave Party. Be careful, though. If you are in a dungeon or raid you are not saved to, you will be teleported back to your Hearthstone location. Come Command makes all of your party members come to your position. If you select a single party member, the command will only apply to them. If you continue to use the command, they will come to your position through obstacles and walls. Start will command all your teammates to start attacking the selected enemy. Stop will command all your teammates to stop attacking the selected enemy. Object is used to use objects such as dousing the runes in Molten Core, the gong in Zulfarak, and the Blackrock Altar in Upper Blackrock Spire. Pause will pause the targeted teammate for 30 seconds. Unpause will unpause the targeted teammate AOE will command all bots to use their AOE spells. Pause All will pause all party members for 30 seconds. Unpause All will unpause all party members. Stay will command the selected party member to stay. Move will command the target to move if they had been set to stay. Pull will pause all of your party members except for your tanks. Be careful of this command as the healers will stop healing until unpaused. Stay all will command all of your teammates to stay in position. Move all will command them to begin moving again. Spread will command all of your ranged DPS to spread apart. Most fights requiring you to spread your ranged classes will require you to place them manually by using the come and stay commands. Spread stop will stop them being spread out and return to following you. Distance will cause any new teammates spawned in to automatically keep their distance from you and spread out.
Distance off will cause the new spawn and teammates to begin following closely again. The next section you can command role specific classes to come to you. Next, you can command role specific classes to begin moving. Then you can command role specific classes to stay. Next is the Mark Configurator section. With CC Mark selected CC meaning crowd control, you can command your party members to use crowd control effects, such as polymorph, based on the raid target icon applied to the enemy. If the target has a raid mark of moon, you can press moon to command all your party members to CC the enemy, or you can select a single teammate and then press moon to have only them crowd control the enemy. If we click on the plus sign next to CC mark, it will change to focus mark. Just the same as CC mark, by clicking the raid target icons, all of your party members will focus on the enemy with that target icon. Selecting a party member and then pressing the symbol button will command them to focus the enemy with that raid target icon. Close button closes the add-on. Now we will get into some additional tips. If you set up your party to focus on specific tasks and use the start button, they will ignore those previous commands and all start focusing on that enemy. Right click the enemy to have them start their tasks. When adding in paladins, the buffs and auras they use are random. You can either kick them from the party and resummon until you get a paladin that buffs what you want, or you can select the paladin and use the command dot party bot set role healer. Pay attention to who and when they buff and see what buff the targeted party member gets. If you're using shamans and want them to lay their totems before the fight, you can use the commands in this order. Stay all, then target the enemy, press start, wait for all totems to be summoned, then press the move all button. Melee sometimes goes in closer than they need to be to an enemy. If they are in range and you don't want them to go in closer, you can press stay melee for a quick solution. Back up your PCP add-on folder before doing these next tips. If you are using the 1.14 client, open the PCP.xml file in the PCP add-on folder and remove the on update section due to the high amount of LUA errors. You can remove some buttons to help clean up the UI also by opening the same file, pcp.xml, and removing the sections like Add Party Bot. Use the dot party bot add macros instead as you'll be adding a lot of different sets of party members for raids. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope this helped you understand a little more about controlling your bot teammates.